Hello friends, welcome to Cave City, Kentucky, home of the Mammoth Cave National Park. It's a really beautiful place. I was here once in my younger years and as I was driving through, I thought, hey, let's go check that place out. This is a really beautiful, interesting place to be. This is a, the biggest cave, I think in North America or maybe the world, I don't know. We'll find out some more facts and explore. I am really excited about this. No, one may not think, oh, caves, how exciting. But there's a lot of history here. There's some really cool uh, pathways through some of these caves, I remember. And this isn't the only cave. There's like hundreds of caves in this area. I was talking to a new friend last night who was uh, explaining that a lot of people just have these random caves in their backyard. And, you know, it's a common thing. This is just an interesting part of the world, right? And I forgot my face mask in the van to see again. She didn't even have to tell me. As I was saying, these caves are cool. I'm also very late for my tour that I pre-ordered. Sorry, I'm late. 9.30 a.m. Made it in time. It's only $9 for the extended tour. Cool. This short and sweet, so you all get in the cave, right? So we're very big on safety here, so please wear your face mask. Also do the social distance, we all know about that. Common sense, main thing is watch your footing, watch your step, know your limitations. If you do the whole thing in the cave, it's like two miles of walking. Okay, there's a short side and a long side. You can do both of them. It's self-guided, that's the beauty of it. Do as much as you want, okay? So the old stuff is called historical graffiti. The newer stuff is called a felony, okay? <laughs> Don't add your name there. <laughs> Don't collect any rocks. And for some reason, this has been kind of a fad lately. People like stacking rocks in creeks and such. Don't do that in the cave, because you can potentially pick up an artifact. We're here to protect the place. Don't collect anything out of the cave. Don't leave anything, that includes the kids. Anybody got any questions? All right, 9.30 folks, let's spread them out and head them down the hill. Let's head this way. already probably 10 degrees cooler. I'm guessing it's, I think caves are like 50 something degrees, usually 52, 54. It's pretty chilly. Glad I wore a coat. It's very low light in here. I doubt the camera is even going to pick much up, but I'll do what I can. You can kind of see here the uh, the walkways are this octagon shaped concrete padding that makes it very easy to walk on. I think you could very accessible. Nothing hard about this walk. Pretty level too. It was was first used by prehistoric people. And then uh, they used it for about 2,000 years, and then it seems like there was no human activity for 2,000 years. Uh, we find a lot of artifacts, the tools they used. They were scraping minerals off the walls of the cave, different types of salts. And so we have a lot of artifacts, and there were even some ceremonial burials in the cave. So, you know, this is, this is the final resting place for some of those earliest native people that were coming in the cave. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. And this big room, this is one of the biggest rooms in the cave. This is called the Rotunda. 
it's called a, a breakout dome. It's got that kind of nat natural circle pattern up there on the ceiling, the way the water flowed through the limestone, kind of widened the walls and, and kind of the weaker rocks collapsed and created that nice dome shape. I mean, it's the longest cave system in the world, and, and, and right now we, we have, you know, this self-guided tour. We have a lot of other uh, guided tours during, you know, the normal normal times. And there's just some really cool places. The, the way water has shaped the cave, you get these huge pits, these massive holes, these huge cathedral domes, you know, and the acoustics in different places. It's just music in the cave is, is really fun. Um, so... So I like stuff like that. Music in the cave, that would be fun. Yeah, hold on a second. You guys, you guys step over here. I'll, I'll kind of get on the edge of the, uh, the room here. I'll give you an idea. If y'all want to go out in there, it may sound a little different. It's a really easy walk through the cave. We have a six foot wide paved walkway with some railings on the side. I took the long route, two miles. Now the salt pit mines only lasted from about middle 1790s, actually late 1790s to 1816, um, actually 1815. Well, now Mammoth Cave got its biggest boom in salt pit mining, or it was known as one of the most profitable salt pit miners during the War of 1812, when America was fighting the British, and the British cut off supply ships from America to get gunpowder outside the country. So we had to make our own gunpowder in country. This is where Mammoth Cave came into play. Huh. Mammoth Cave was this huge size, and a lot of cave dirt, even today, it's still a lot of dirt, <laughs> uh, was able to turn out saltpeter for gunpowder on a regular basis. <laughs> huh. Now, when the War of 1812 ended, which was December 1814, uh, didn't really need him, have much of a need for gunpowder anymore. So, well, I can't think of a better term to use. It kind of petered out, really wasn't profitable anymore. So 1815, they kind of shut their mind down, but the owner wanted to make money, so beginning up in 1816, he started doing tours, and well, it's basically how you got Mammoth Cave National Park today. <laughs> It's really interesting to see these gigantic boulders and where they have broken off from the ceiling. There's just tons of these huge slabs. And you just think, it's just a matter of time before more of those come down. I wonder when the last big chunk fell. I have a question. Sure. So I'm noticing these big boulders all over. And um, okay, that's cool, 1839. Let's see. Um, when was the last big giant chunk that fell that you guys know about? 1994, if you go back when you, when you first came in the rotunda, the, there was a nice gray spot on the ceiling and all that rock fell down in the winter of 19, 1994. Wow. It was a really cold day outside and actually, in the winter time the wind blows in. Okay. So it, the cave is actually frozen up from there and we go moisture in the ceiling and it flaked it off. Huh. Well, these tour guys are really cool. They were, last guy was just talking about how they found fossilized poop in here. I guess the Indians would mine the, um, the gypsum off of the side of the wall and they think, they're not really sure, but they think that they had like a ritual that they did and they drink this and it was a super laxative or something. Anyway, uh, all kinds of interesting cave stories and experiences over the years I'm learning. A shelter. No roof needed. I love seeing how the water has shaped this rock over time. I mean, it's nearly unimaginable how much time 
and water it takes to form all these shapes and create this structure amazing so people have been inhabiting this cave for more than 5,000 years indians and then you know all the way to you know thieves and robbers and you know any kind of people have been down here just exploring there's handwriting all over the walls and there's some really ancient like hieroglyphics here we can't see those on this tour but they do exist in here it's really really historical cave here they say john wayne and the grandma from uh, beverly hillbillies wrote their names on the walls here this is very cool a very cool experience making our way out You guys know I love this history. I just love thinking about the amount of people in time that have came down this exact slope with dreams of making money or finding whatever they were looking for, exploring. What a cool thing to find. Can you imagine stumbling upon this like you were the first one to find it? Wow. Well, we know these stones haven't been rolling. Little nature joke for you. You have to sanitize your shoes because of some uh, disease that spread to bats. So it's for bat safety. It is a grand day. A little bit of cloud cover today. I'm guessing the temperature's 72. Beautiful. For somebody from Florida, this is really nice. It's a good switch up. Now you know what time it is. It's the end of the tour. Time to hit the gift shop. Park store. Friends, they got a lot of cool things in this gift store, but surprise, I wanted to keep a surprise till the end. It is also a National Parks Passport stamp cancellation location. Cancellation location. Let's stamp it. Right here in Kentucky on number 29 is Mammoth Cave National Park. All you gotta do is scroll to the back, find a space. I think I'm gonna go there. Find your stamp, do a test. It's upside down. That's why you test it. Awesome. <laughs> cool. One more in the books or book. If you didn't know about this, it is really awesome. I've been using this National Parks passport book for like nearly 10 or 12 maybe longer years they got these books are like 10 or 12 bucks they got little little things you can get with it get this larger book it's got larger stamps like sticker stamps you can buy and then the junior ranger for the younger travelers and explorers you get these stickers too it's cool and the gift store has your standard issue books Shirts, games, plush toys, mugs, and all the things that your heart desires in a National Parks gift shop. Something you always find in a National Parks store is these Audubon books. This one about mushrooms, I have. I have one about stars. I have all kinds of them here, but these, these gift shops actually are very good. They even have these walking stick pins that you can put on your walking stick. That was cool. And if you're a Patreon subscriber for $5 or more, one of you are going to get this exact postcard. That's all I'm buying today from the gift shop. Well, friends, thanks for joining me today at Mammoth Cave National Park. It's been a great little adventure. Very unique, huh? I like these off the beaten path. Well, kind of. It's a national park, but it is, you know, in the middle of the woods. It's a very cool location. The leaves are beautiful. It's a great day to check out something new. Well, friends, thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification button. 
so you don't miss out on any of the new videos coming out this week. The next one is going to be really fun. Hope to see you there. Thanks for joining. I'll see you in the next video.